Oh sure, I gotta say thanks for dropping by. Final round of my Ghostbusters 1 6 scale collectible action figures review show and tell from Blitzway. It's gonna be Egon Spengler. Alright, so here's the box. The outside sleeve. Again, the fabric. Spengler is in a fabric patch, the ones that they were in the coveralls. Here's the front, sides, and back, which contains a production image of our man Egon. Removing the sleeve, Egon encased in a box. So, out of the box, um, two trays, the figure packed on top of the accessory tray. And here's Egon out of the box with all his accessories laid out. So let's go in and have a closer look. Um, in hand, um, you know, when you look at pictures online, you see that he's got that little sneer. And it's really prominent on the pictures online. It's, it doesn't stand out too much in hand. Now, keep in mind, I've only opened it up for a, a few hours. And I haven't really posed him in his actual pose his final pose I'm going to put him in but um yeah I I went upstairs and showed my wife I'm like hey look and she really didn't make a comment as opposed to the uh pictures that I saw online earlier when the, the figure first came out the actual production piece first came out so here is the um I guess crotch area and once again I've I have the uh crotch stand on the crotch stand on as opposed to the hip stand that you can also have an option to put on and uh, I've assembled the uh, stand which also uh, again with this is my third Ghostbuster that I've put together and uh, really didn't have an issue with it so proton pack again very beautiful now I'm gonna put the link um, in the description below of uh, my Ray and also my Peter review. So if you're interested in a closer look and a comparison between the Blitzway and the Mattel um, side by side comparison, please check those out and um, you'll see um, the differences and the similarities and also um, how I feel a lot of the aspects of the Mattel is actually better than this one. Now, of course, exclusive to Egon is the PKE meter right here and also a gamma meter right here now Egon comes with of course the glove hands that he has on right now so there's one pair there's two pairs of hands these I guess the proton uh, and also the walkie-talkie hand I guess you can use this one as the PKE meter one too. I believe I'm put it on. Now he's got two pairs of ungloved hands. I'm pretty sure they're the same as the rest of uh, the other Ghostbusters. Ungloved. And once again, from the musical montage in Ghostbusters 1, we have the news clipping headlines and also we have magazine covers and the Ghostbusters logo going with the LP and then here we go the Ghostbusters sign so this is all included in your Egon all right Let's go back. Let's go back to the 80s, guys. Here we go. From the real Ghostbusters, here is Egon. Now, of course, looking very different than he is in the movies with the blonde hair, the red glasses, but pretty much the same looking guy in essence. So this is the figure that I used to play with when I was young, back in the days. And knowing that I won't be getting Winston um, in the Blitzway line, I decided to uh, show you Winston. And throw them all here, and of course, here they are, all four of them together. Like the color of Winston's jumpsuit in in the real Ghostbusters line, um, they all look great together. So, might as well show a little show and tell with Winston. Here he is. And here's Egon from the Mattel line of six inch action figures.
and again, knowing there's no Winston, decided to share all four of the Mattel Ghostbusters together. And here we are, the 12 inch line Mattel Egon, our $60 figure. Let's zoom in on the face. There you go. Now, of course, the likeness was there for Egon um, with his PK meter. I guess the only issue I had with this figure was that um, it didn't seem like to have, it didn't seem like he had a neck, so his head kind of rested right on his shoulders, and you can kind of see it's pretty low. All right, guys, here it is. Last time, the big wow moment. Wow! Comparison between our Blitzway and our Mattel Egons. Let's get a little bit closer. There is the facial sculpts of our two Egons. I've got my hit of all four together in a 1 6 12 inch scale with these right here. So maybe that's why I don't have that urge to, to, to grab Winston um, so that I can put all four together. They're here already. I know that there are the Mattel versions, but still, in essence, I have all four together. Um, again, we hope, we wish, we pray that um, we hopefully see one day Blitzway attempt to do the Ghostbusters 2 slime lore like such and um, that's when I will be placing my order for the Winston. I do like the mustache version of Winston more than the, uh, the shaved version but that's okay. See in the end I like my Ghostbusters display to look somewhat like this three blowers and one slime blower and again I don't need to have um, two Winstons in my collection I don't need to have the regular version and a slime blower version or a regular version of Ray and a slime blower version of Ray it's just too much unnecessary four like this of Blitzway in my collection it's more than enough man Here's the heads, guys. Close up. A little bit in shadow, but there you go. There's a close up of the heads. Um, so, in my Ray and uh, Peter review, I uh, compared the proton packs and I also compared the ghost trap. So, please, if you're interested, go back and have a look at those two. The links down there and um, but of course for Egon his main tool right is the uh, PKE meter which is included um, so which is which guys do you know here's the Blitzway and here is the um, Mattel size wise Mattel is slightly larger than the Blitzway and I also noticed that um, the details the coloring on the Mattels right here it's more prominent with the paint applications on the Mattel um, here's the Blitzway right here so you can see even there that a lot of this image is right the coloring looks uh, dark and also on the sides right here you see the sides here's a Blitzway and I'm not sure which is right and here's your Mattel we've got a silver lining so for the Blitzway right here you have to get your little fingers in there and your nails and open them up like so there's your Blitzway now for your Mertel what's that? Well, I'll show you Here's my demonstration. There you go. Let's do that again. So, Mattel's has a little spring in the back where you just push, bam. So, well engineered, Mr. $60. Still alright, Mr. 200 and <coughs> What are those? Naboo fighters? No, they're not. 
Um, I just want to show you the fronts right there. Well, it could be. Look, it almost looks like a Batman, some sort of Batman vehicle. Anyways. And since I attempted to sing you guys the uh, Batman anthem, I decided to bring out my Batman Returns Batman from Hot Toys. Bring it back out Ripley from Hot Toys. I know they shared a lot of screen time in the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. So I decided to share screen time, YouTube time, here. Alright, so I've put the proton pack on and the PK meter and the gun. This is the uh, pose I might be going with right now. Maybe I'll change in the future. But I decided, of course, you got to put the PKE meter on his hand. But I decided for 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 Egon that I was going to have him hold the wand. Um, not in the, I guess, actual action pose of the proton pack. But just hold the wand because for Peter and Ray, um, the wand is on the back. And I guess I wanted to show the wand at least. Um, in the hand of one of the three figures I have. And there's a close-up of Egon's head. That way. And here are the three Ghostbusters together. Um, it's posed. Uh, this is a pose as I've decided to go with so far. Of course, Peter with his walkie-talkie. Ray uh, holding the trap. You need to show the trap with a cigarette. You need to show the cigarette. And again, I decided that uh, his goggles were not going to go on his head, but rather on the side. Because I felt that when it went on his head, it uh, took away some of the uh, details, obviously, in the hair. And a little bit of the likeness. And of course, Egon with his PK meter and holding the wand because the other two have the wands in the back. And of course, I want to showcase it in my display. So overall, I think these are the uh, current poses that I'll go with. Maybe in the future, I might pose them here and there. But again, don't like handling these guys too much. Um, like any of my 1-6 figures, my Hot Toys figures. Once I find a good pose, I tend to leave it the way it is. Yes, I know it's more of a statue, but knowing that you can move them around and articulate them in any other way at any other time um, I guess that's the beauty of having action figures rather than just statues and here is Egon displayed on a on a single shelf on my Detoffs um, this is probably where he'll be positioned for me I've mentioned before in many reviews it's it's one per case I don't like to have uh, these one with well, these very expensive figures display two per case or even more. I just don't feel like it reflects the amount of money that you paid for it. And uh, having one on a shelf, um, it really, really, uh, it brings out the figure rather than dissolves and dilutes it amongst many. So this is uh, this is Egon right here on a shelf. You can see the three Ghostbusters um, displayed. And I believe that's going to be it, folks. Um, thank you so much for um, watching my review slash show and tell of Egon from Blitzway. Thank you so much for, uh, if you have already, reviewed my other Peter Venkman and Race Dance. Um, what's next? I'm not really sure. I do have Hoth Leah, Leah from uh, Hot Toys on pre-order, but still I'm on the fence with that one. Um, aside from that, there's really not much that I have on the go. Um, in the NECA world, I guess I'm still waiting on any kind of announcement for those pans. Labyrinth that NECA kind of showcased on uh, San Diego Comic Con 2017. But aside from that, oh, Alien Resurrection from NECA. And um, I think that's it. So thanks again, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, and um, thank you for watching.